Hello, friends and followers. So I'm still struggling with getting the face lock loop working on this second Paragon I've had. And it looks like the minor loop board has some stability issues. So here's a good way I found to at least adjust this little coil here to uh, find out where you're at. So I'm still monitoring here on a receiver, on a service monitor type thing, 44.7 to 44.75, which is the range for this thing. And sure enough, I can take it through its paces and it pretty much goes. But here's what's fun. So you can look at the face lock pin on the chip, on the face lock loop chip. So on this U1 here, pin seven is the one you want to look at. So schematic, let's make sure it's the right one. I think this is minor loop. Yep, okay. So take a look at this. So um, pin seven is the bingo, bingo pin. So reference here coming in, that's got to have 2.1. This one from the VCO, it's got to have a signal. So first check for signals on these two. And if those are good, then you can adjust that coil with this pin, which has lots of circuitry for the unlock, but this is the unlock pin here. So that goes into a bunch of stuff to process the unlock, but you know, then it goes to the processor, but who cares? We just want to put a scope on, on this pin, pin seven. So that's what I did. The scope is on, is on the resistor that comes off of pin seven because you can't get the scope lead on pin seven too easily. So that's pin seven of, of that U1. There's U1 right there under the wires. There's the resistor there, and the resistor is right near the 83 symbol. At any rate, here's the exciting part. So when that line is high, you'll see DC 5 volts or so. So there's that line basically high. And when you get out of sync, you'll see you'll get pulses in that line. So if I now change this thing to where it doesn't respond, it'll, it'll go out of sync. So, well, actually, this thing also has problems. If I turn the power off and on on the radio, it'll go out of sync too. Watch this. Power off. Power on. Yeah, see that? So it went out of sync and then it went in sync. So it's pretty close to be working somewhat. But now if I adjust the frequency here and watch the signal. So I'll adjust the frequency on the radio. Go to fast mode here. And now you can watch the uh, signal on the service monitor or the RTLSDR, which is my cheap $30 service monitor. It's working. You can see it tracking here. And the scope looks good. Once, once we get up to the higher end, it, it goes out of sync to around 44.75. Once you see this thing quit moving, how about there? Yeah, look at that. So now, that's how it looks out of sync. So you can adjust the oscillator coil until that goes high and that garbage goes away. So it's trying to sync right there and not doing a good job. When I lower the frequency here a little bit, you can see how it's sort of phasing in and then it just goes into sync. So now it's synced. And if I increase the frequency a bit, it goes out of sync. So it seems like the oscillator wants to go higher. And it can't. So what if we just take it a touch higher by, I'm thinking, Turn this a bit counterclockwise, a tad. Like that, a tad. And did that help it?
not really, didn't do much. All right, so now that we're out of sync, the trick might be to turn this until it sinks just a touch. I mean, we're talking like turn it five degrees. And of course, a metal screwdriver screws up my magnetics in here. Okay, there's a tad not helpful. Going the wrong way. So let's crank it out. And mind you, if I crank this 30, 40 degrees, it won't work at all in any direction. It's just how it is with this thing. Okay. That's close. Whenever it oscillates up and down, it's close. This is like synchronizing a generator to the grid. A little more of a tweak. Okay, that's super close. Gonna keep tweaking it out, take it out about two degrees. It's really dying to sink here. Let's give it two more degrees out. Okay, it, it's in sync. Now, if we turn it off and the frequency is right smack at the top now. So I bet if we turn it all power off and on, it won't sync. Try this. Power off. Power on. Yep, won't sink. So it's not very dependable. However, this might be enough to fix the major loop because it is synced now. So it mostly syncs now. And maybe just leave it alone and see if we can get the. Uh, major work now so it mostly works now so now what if we apply the same technique to the major loop that's the minor working more or less how do we know the minor is going to keep working let's turn it off turn it on It isn't sinking. Okay, because the frequency changes. If I spin it down. Okay, if I spin this thing down to like 998, it sinks. So that's a good clue to make this thing go. So repeatability, turn it off, turn it on. No sync. Spin it down to 998. We got sync. Okay. And we're cranked down about there in frequency. So maybe that's enough to fix the major loop. So what if we then... And I want to work on the first oscillator. So let's hit one here to go to the lowest band we can. And we have no sync. Let's go down a bit. There's some sync. So if I go down to 19.3, roughly 19.3, I get sync. So that's good enough. And is it repeatable? Power off, power on. Yeah, whoops, it didn't take. Got yeah, it start up. Yeah, this thing is like not taking its backup battery either. Okay, let's go down to 9.3, I think. Okay, we got sync. So that is repeatable. So go down to 1.793. 
And now let's do the same thing with the major loop. The major loop for this first band is going to be this one here for the BCO. Okay, so power off. We want to get on that resistor on the major loop board now, which I'm sure they have somewhere. So get this off of here. And let's locate the same resistor on the major board here, which I'm sure exists. Okay, that's the minor board. Control board, okay, the major board. Minor board. Major board's here. You can tell the major board because you got four oscillators. Four VCOs. Okay, so the unlock. On this one, the unlock is very simple. Will it work the same way? Well, it still has a pin seven, doesn't it? Let's see what it does. Okay, there's pin seven. It doesn't have a resistor for me to go to. I don't think this one works the same way. Okay, we're on. Go to one, nine, three. Okay. And let's see if pin seven is copacetic on this chip here in this phase lock loop chip. There's pin seven right there. What kind of signal comes out of this thing, if anything? It's high. I think that means it's locked. Yeah, it should be locked. Son of a B. And I'm still getting unlock here. So, I'm thinking that, let's see, when, oh, that's the wrong board. Yes, it is locked. Wrong board. <laughs> okay, I always screw these up. Well, at least we know it's locked. Okay, so here's the major right down here. I was majoring the minor. Pin seven is here. I hope I see a scrambly signal on here. What do we got, if anything? That is showing also a high for locked, which I find hard to believe. Okay, so this thing thinks it's locked. If I go to unlock now on this one, let's see, pin eight. Here's the minor board, and I want to see what it does unlocked. So right now it thinks it's locked, right? It thinks it's locked. I know if I do a power on, it'll unlock. So let's do that. Power off. We know the minor will unlock at default 10 megahertz. So now if the minor is unlocked, what is it doing? I think it's spitting on a signal. Yeah, it is. It's spitting out the usual, I'm trying to lock signal, so, no, it's not. Looks like it locked. Okay, here's the resistor I was on right here. And we're high. Power off. We're on. Unlocked. Go down frequency.
Not locked up. There goes it locked. Okay, so. Okay, I'm just wondering if we can get the uh, major the major lock now. If I twiddle with a coil in there. I guess I'm going to try that. Alright, so that's how to tune for, uh, for locking up the uh, miner. So for the major, I gotta get on pin seven here and that's always dangerous. Let's see, so that's also on pin seven. Goes right to here, right? Right to the middle, okay, the edge of 82. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll try this out, and, and if I can get the thing figured out, I'll make a video about it, okay? Thanks for watching. And again, now we got the minor locked. We're trying to lock the major loop. Thank you. Have a good day.